Hi right, guys, there's been a lot of people wanting to know how to make the uh, automatic boring system with red power 2 frames from Direwolves videos. So after a couple of hours of um, scratching my head over one little component that I couldn't figure out, I've got it for you. So, here you go. And of course, first thing I do is fail. Now the frubes go on all nine spaces behind the block breakers, obviously so they can uh, take it out as well as send the signal back to the block breaker when you want it to break, as well as one more back from the very middle. From that back middle one, chuck two frames backwards, and then on the left hand side, another two frames on the back too, leaving a nice little gap there. On top, place your, place your two mo mo motors, one on the very back middle there, and the other one on the back left. The one on the uh, on the left hand side has to have the arrow pointing forward and on the side like so because it's going to push that motor back forward. The one in the middle, rotate until the arrow is on the bottom which you can hopefully see through the frame there and it also has to point forwards. And then to make sure the whole thing has power, a battery right between the both of them. Next thing to place is the two chests, which will collect everything. You obviously don't have to have the chest, but it's always a good idea to collect any of the goodies, especially if you're using it for mining and not just for making tunnels like I do. Two chests seems to be the max you can have without having to expand it out sideways. But if you go, if you put more block breakers with more frubes behind it, you can have as many chests attached to it pretty much as you like. Next, we need six panels. One, two in there. One, two on the side there, and on top, another two. And the panels are what you can connect all your levers and timers to and they'll stay stuck to it whereas the covers which we will now use now are the ones that will stop anything else from sticking to it so very important to get the very edges otherwise your machine's going to drag pretty much everything with it very bottom as well, don't want it getting pulling half the mountain with me. This side top I already did. And of course whoops. Purple. Of course the very sides as well. Oh. And the back. All three sides again. And a very important step, which I missed the first time and could not figure out, is a cover has to go here, so that when this engine pushes that engine, the, well, when that motor pushes that motor forward, it doesn't attempt to drag the whole frame with it, which you know kind of fails. Next, timer, lever. First timer hits here, lever, click. Second timer here, lever, and we'll turn it off. This is to prevent it from going forward as soon as I give it power. The last time it goes down here, and this will, one doesn't need a lever, although if you expand it I suppose you give it one if you really wanted. And of course I place that in the wrong spot. Oh wait, no I haven't, I'm just crazy. Then, this was the very confusing part for me. Red alloy wire goes there, which gets a signal, and then on top of that, which I didn't know you could do, is a jacketed wire. Of whatever you like. I used red wool because that was what I clicked at the time. And um, that alloy wire actually gives the jacketed wire the redstone signal which then goes through to activate the block breaker. 
One other thing that I found to make my machine a little bit more efficient is to make the time one second instead of two. Um, just because sometimes it would miss the actual signal and it would wait two seconds before it would move forward instead of basically moving forward one or two blocks every one block every one or two seconds. And the final panels, only because it prevents a bit of fun later on. I didn't have most of the bottom I didn't have the bottom panels or these side panels and when it ran into lava it dragged the lava with it leaving a big light stream of uh, moving lava behind it while I'm trying to catch up dodging creepers and then skeletons and it was not fun actually it was fun but for the wrong reasons and that while I've got two panels left I'm not sure have I missed any I don't believe so actually I have missed one which I found out. Anyway, we'll see that in a second. Give it a battery. Four batteries pretty much fills this battery box up and makes it well. And that's one of the panels I forgot. This one here, otherwise the timer down there will activate this engine. Which is good if you if you don't want to have this timer set up here, but I do, so I can turn it off whenever I like. That's it. Turn this one back on. It will move the engine motor forward. Turn this one back on, and away it goes. And I'm just going to skip ahead a bit so that it can go through the mountain. Alright, as you can see, I'm slowly getting there. It's not, it doesn't seem quick when you're just riding it and waiting for it to do something, but when you're actually trying to chase the bastard as it gets away from me, it, it seems like it travels quite, quite quick. As you can see, it's eating into the side of the hill now. All the cobblestone is sneaking in through the pipes there, plus anything it, any goodies it gets, and it just cuts a nice three by three. Or if you put more block breakers and more frames, uh, as wide as you like, assuming the engine, can, the motor can power that many. I'll just let it dig through the mountain here, and here it is at the other side of the tunnel. Nice square. Uh, even had some gravel fall on it, and it just numbed it back up again. Not a problem. Sometimes you'll have uh, that rare instance where gravel will fall on the top and it's possible for it to get stuck in there, which will stop the motor. But a quick couple of punches with the gra getting the gravel out of there and it'll fix it nice and quick. It's not a problem. Um, that's it. That's my very short tutorial. Let me know what you think.